Laugh out loud, love a lot, and shop for what makes you happy. Hey guys, Mandy here with Laugh Love Shop, and today I have a tour of my bedroom. Well, actually, it's only a tour of half my bedroom because this half, which is my half, is not, it hasn't been worked on yet because my daughter used to sleep in here until this summer. Uh, she's two now. <coughs> So she got moved in with her big sister and I still have to work on that side of the room, but this side of the room I did work on. So let's go. All right, so this is my husband's side of the bedroom and there are still some things that I want to work on and I will mention those as we go through, but this is our bed. This is a quilt that my mom got for me. It was part of my hope chest, but to be honest, I just used it even before I got married. And then we have two sets of two pillows. They're just regular pillows for a queen size bed. And then I have one decorative pillow in the middle. And I really don't mind that it's a pattern on the blanket and a pattern on the pillow because it's two very different kinds of pattern. And then for our headboard, this is actually a screen, a wooden screen. And the other side had some beautiful shell artwork like behind glass it was so pretty but the shells started falling down even when we moved it we got it on craigslist and we went to dc to pick it up and already the shells were starting to fall down so they gave me a discount but then driving it back to pennsylvania where i live even more of them fell down so that side is against the wall but we used the painted side uh, as our headboard and i love it i think it's absolutely beautiful moving on over let's see i'm gonna start here this is um a chest that belonged to my great grandmother and above it we're going to put this tv but uh we just we haven't put it, put it up yet over here i have some dvds both adult dvds and children's dvds those boxes do not match the rest of the room which is why they're kind of like tucked back there probably they will go in the chest eventually but i just haven't decided yet all right this chest and bookshelf actually holds like a lot of memory type stuff so um up here these horses were my dad's and then i had them when i was a teenager i was super big into horses uh, but i gave them back to my dad and then he asked anybody if they wanted them and I just thought, you know what? Yes, I do. I do want them. On this shelf is all of our like souvenirs from when we traveled and from when family members traveled, different things like that, things I inherited. So I'm not going to go through all of them. If you want me to, that would be a fun video to do, but I'm not going to go through all of them right now. And these are all my pretty books and then like my series of books and then my home decor books and some more souvenirs over there. In this drawing cabinet, I have my sheets, my winter sheets for my bed. They're like thick plush sheets and they're really nice uh, but they stay in there they take up so much space and then in these drawers i have more of my books and some other memory type things i have like my kids baby books all that kind of stuff i do want to get new curtains for our room guys we've oh it's dusty up there we've had these curtains <laughs> cheap curtains from walmart for well we're going on nine years of being married so about that long and it's just, it's time, it's time to get nicer ones. And then this corner, I like imagine it as my husband's reading corner, although he doesn't have time to read right now, but I have a nice little plant here. We have this rocking chair, which is wood and leather. It's kind of dusty. Oh, I should have dusted in here before I did this video. Anyway, our neighbor had it made. His name was Dennis and he was older and my husband used to do lawn care for him. And he passed away from cancer and his girlfriend asked us if we would like the chair and we said, absolutely yes, it is awesome. Look at my markings on here. Can you paint a heater? Do you think maybe Magic Eraser will take that off? even though it's probably been there for like five years. Anyway, moving on. For the bookshelf, this is my husband's bookshelf. And guys, we still have a huge tub of his books in the basement, which I forgot we had. So I actually have to have him go through it. But I turned all of his books backwards. Like I said, he doesn't really have a lot of time to read right now. Let me brighten it. 
he doesn't really have a lot of time to read right now and so for the sake of my sanity all of these books are different colors and some of them are really bright so I just turn them all backwards so at least it's like shades of white and cream instead of like a million thousand different colors and then I also have some souvenirs of his here a few journals and then this is actually his first prayer for the two of us and I typed it up while we were dating and I printed it out because I was working as a secretary I thought I was being so fancy but it's um a little small for this particular like alcove of the shelves so I'm thinking I might get a canvas that's like a whole lot bigger and paint by hand the prayer onto it. I think that would be really fun and really personal. Other than that, there is his side table. It could probably stand to be refinished on the top. On his table, we just have the lamp and the fan and then a little container of necessities there. And that's it. That's everything for his side of the room. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. That would be fantastic. And I will talk to you next time. Bye. New videos every Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. In the meantime, check these out and follow me across social media.